because it's looking great. Let me show you. Oh. Are you ready? I'm so excited to show you this. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! Hmm. Another frame building day, you guys already know how it goes, so we have some people building the templates for the frames, other people painting the frames already, other people cutting the frames and that's how it goes. We received more wood this morning and it's almost already gone because we here are so fast. And by we I say actually them, they are so fast and we are so grateful for the effort they put, they are super quick. But yeah, let me show you, we got this piece of wood that's still remaining and this one soon will be cut because it's already it already has the drawings on and yeah here more cutting and there painting installing measuring that's how it goes we're almost almost there with the frames bolt needs to be tightened because the wood was still a bit green and, and on the green we mean it was freshly cut yeah. shipped here very humid from the tree still now it's drying out a bit so the wood is gonna change shape yeah it, it shrunk a bit it, it dried out a bit so now we have to make other bolts tighter before starting to put the planks to shut the hole because if you can do it when the planks are on it's just gonna be a lot harder so all we have to do I'll show you just on one Okay, we've got two rakken jakken, which is the Dutch for it, and I've used that term in English as well because it's so much more fun. And all you do is tighten it. Ready? So each frame has 12 bolts. And we have how many frames on each side? 12 or 8? 12. Whoa. So we just did 6. <laughs> we just did 6. So that's a lot more to go. Let's do it. So we got asked recently if we ever get discouraged about the size of our project. And the honest answer is at the beginning, yes. At least I can talk for myself because Ben, honestly, he has very positive attitude always and I never saw him feeling down about the idea of this full refit but I got affected at the beginning when I realized that the project was a lot bigger than expected 
but now that doesn't affect me anymore because when I come here to work every day at the shipyard I come to this part which is my favorite so far for now because I can really see the light at the end of the tunnel when I look at this it's very fast fastly done it's very well done and I really believe our project will succeed so the discouragement is left in the past for me and yeah we are actually very very happy about all this she says I don't get discouraged but I don't get discouraged about the boat itself it's just I am not looking forward to the moment where I'm going to start having to sort out all these wires and the other wires and the other wires and also the other wires on top of those other wires so that's what I'm not looking forward to but I guess when this boat is closed and a bit more waterproof we can start working on that and Let's look at it as one wire at a time because... Unfortunately we got really unlucky with this batch of wood that arrived. They are not wide enough. We need at least 35 centimeters so we can be able to do the curve around the hole. And these planks we got here are not wide enough. Also the few ones that were wide enough had a very big sapwood patch that was also not healthy so we won't be able to use them luckily we can send them back with no cost but we we'll, we are going to need to wait a bit more to keep going so i feel like today is going to go fast wood has arrived that is big enough for our planking because there was wood that was just too thin as we have to make lots of curvature to get around the boat the hole here this Nico and Elio are busy drawing up the shape of the frames, uh, sorry, the planks. And we have Clayton and William preparing the frame after it's been cut in the saw to then head over to the boat. And that's how the process is going to go today. Oh, wait, baby. So I was just looking and hammering those nails in can't be that hard but my gosh I did it once before and I was rubbish now I'm less rubbish but still rubbish but then if you compare me to William or any of the others still got a long way to go before I can hammer one nail in, in like four hits I think I did 20 hits of which half were next to the nail so maybe I need to wear my glasses more often So it's been done on the port side already. Now on the starboard side, some frames have to be plain back so the planks can fit on nice and tightly. Thank you. 
here is something funny. I'm gonna go up the ladder, he can't, but look what happens. Are you ready? I'm so excited to show you this. Look! What? Isn't this great? We have so many planks already. All the frames are new. Here on port we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planks already. And on starboard we're almost there with two less, so six. And yeah, this is so amazing. Also there. At the workshop, they're already building some other planks. I think we already have three in the making. So soon we're gonna have even more boards installed. And yeah, it's a great day. So yes, not a single piece of planking is kept on the boat, let alone frames, because we're doing this once. And from now on, we only want to maintain the boat. And as we were doing all, most of the frames and most of the planks anyway, everything got removed. And we're starting from scratch. We're keeping some of the floor timbers and we're keeping the, the keelson, but most of it. And the stem is at the stem. And this is the Hoda de Proa in Portuguese. Big nose of the boat. We're keeping that, but the rest of the hull is going to be new wood. More durable wood, Garapeira, which is one of the types of Brazilian oak, which is very common in boat building. It's a yellowy wood. It's very humid when it's cut. It comes here, of course we cut all these bits out, we don't use them. It's a very dense, durable wood that's going to be put on the boat. It smells like Cheetos when it's cut. So literally when it's in the saw and you get that fine sawdust in your nose, it literally smells like Cheetos. But yeah, Brazilian oak, there's a few types of it. This one is Garapeira, very common in shipbuilding over here. And it's one of the woods that's allowed to be used because there are lots of better woods here in Brazil that are probably better but are illegal to cut. Lots of ship uh, wood shops still sell it but we wanted a certificate for us and we want it to be done, how do you say, durable, sustainable. So that's why we are using this wood. Here another plank that's ready, ready to go to the boat. We just need to cut here. Can you see this line? This means this is the front plank that goes in the angle of the stem. So after this cut, it will be ready to be installed.
So we're on the side of the boat now, not underneath. And here you can see where it's been planed back. So this is in a nice straight line. So the, nah, nah, there. So this is representing the plank. So the plank can stick against it nicely. So it's not rolling around. So now the frames are ready to receive the plank and actually the wind is picked up, which is nice. All that. Well, I think there might just be a two minute gap in between finishing the frames and this new plank being finished. So I'm super happy about how fast this is going. Right now, the mat can go onto the boat and literally the moment that plank gets handed over to here, the other two are already building the next plank. So this is where Caillou is when we're not when you're not working, huh? Yeah, just having a break. <laughs> Why? Because his life is so tiring. <laughs> I want to show something that I'm really happy about. Here, this is Nossa Senhora da Aparecida, which is the padroeira of Brazil. William, that works with us, he found this frame with the saint and puts it here on our boat. Really, in the bow is like the first thing we see when we arrive as a gesture of a prayer that we want to have as many good as much good energy as we can for this work because it's been quite a battle we're facing a lot of challenges but things are working well so i'm really happy about this gesture it means a lot to me i think it's very very nice and yeah every prayer to every saint every good energy every good vibe that we can receive will help us for sure. there looking at the boat to make sure both sides are aligned. I really feel like saying something and no one's gonna stop me. You are very beautiful and very loved. And you you're very beautiful and very loved. And you, you're very beautiful and very loved. And you, you're very beautiful and very loved. Join me and tell that to people you love today. <laughs> so MP is on that pile of wood looking for cool pieces of wormy wood. Because we got lots of requests to do something with the old wood of Yaba. We don't know what it will be yet. But she's up there finding the coolest pieces of frames and planks and some of it's going to be turned into some cool stuff but we needed some inspiration for that. Could be like necklaces, key rings, placemats. One it's... of our quick fixes uh -huh. for the trip. So it's one of the... the coal king and the nails and the sticker plank. <laughs> one of the pieces of marine plywood that we just covered the holes with on our trip. With some coal king on the inside, that's funny. Caillou, aren't you going to help? No? Look what I just found. I think it's a slice from the stem, but it was completely eaten by worms because you can also see the tubolet that we use for fixing yeah. underwater. You see the green and all the holes. How unique and precious is this? Careful, careful. It's very. <laughs>
show you something really exciting now. Ready? Ta-da! Starboard is finally as built as port. We have the same amount of planks and I think it's looking so beautiful. And not only the bow is done, but also look here. It's happening guys. The boat's coming back to life. So before we head off, we'd like to say we're seeing you on Wednesday this week with a little bonus episode. We really hope you enjoy it. Yeah, and before we say bye, we'd like to welcome and thank the new people who joined our crew. So, thank you so much for joining us on Patreon. Captain Paul, Troy, and North Beach. And thank you for the PayPal donations, Chris, Bruno, and PCS. All he wants to do is go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs>